Well, hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another Martin Sci-Fi Appeal. Well, I've just watched Orville Cupid's Arrow, which was uh, absolutely superb. Another brilliant episode, may I say. Uh, I don't know where to start. Uh, as usual, you get very, you just get so excited for this, don't you? This episode of Orville, I mean, I got incredibly excited about it, and uh, it's, it's, we don't get to see it till Friday in the UK. So, and then you've got to watch it online. So, I've I, I just watched it. I mean, I couldn't, it started off very next generation, you know, that beginning of an episode. And uh, it's sort of like this, somebody's coming from the Olympic, they've been sent into sort of peace dispute out, and where this went was just brilliant. And uh, it all ends up with Sir X Lover, you know, the one he caught in bed in the first episode. He's, uh, he's, an, he's uh, an archaeologist, and uh, he, he turns up on board, and uh, she, the security officer, she runs downstairs and you know, tries to warn them and it's there. And it, and, and the, the episode just gets crazy after that. It just gets absolutely insane. I mean, it starts off, you get the two warring parties. I mean, there were nothing uh, like about the aliens in it. There were two standard sides fighting over a planet with usual claims to territory. So they were very minute in this. It was the situation on board the ship. Uh, the classic, I mean, the classic line is, is uh, when at the beginning when when they're doing karaoke in 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 in, in the bar, and Brotus is going to go on and he starts singing Titanic song, and he was just about to sing, and it all sort of it kicks in, you know, uh, transmission from headquarters, and I, I couldn't stop laughing, you know, I, I, honestly, within a few minutes you're in stitches. You know, and, 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 and the film, the moments in this, the, the, how they put the comedy together is sheer genius. Uh, well, he comes aboard, uh, the ex uh, the, the her ex-boyfriend, and uh, it all starts off from there. Mercer's, he's, he's a bit uppity about it because, you know, feels threatened and she's there uh, trying to go on about it because she still feels guilty and, and anyway the round the ship is uh, Yafik sitting on the doctor with flowers and guitar and she says look you've got to stop this now you know it's got to stop <laughs> and I love I love Claire the doctor I mean she's so on point about everything and uh, poor Yafik he gets he slimes out of the door and the crew start being affected certain members that crew because they the, uh, the archaeologist guy, Rob Lowe's playing him, he's brought this pheromone on board because it's there on heat and it probably it's in tradition and there is that the don't say it's an insult to turn down, not to turn down sex. And uh, he ends up, I mean, he ends up where Mercer starts going after him and they're all like her and him are carrying on over him and who's going to get off with him first and, you know, and, and, and then Mercer... Well, he gets him into his cabin or whatever, and the, you know, I assume, you know, they get the deed done. With. I just couldn't stop. I've got a towel around his head, you know, like they're this loved up couple. And uh, she's all jealous, which is just hilarious, the situation. And then the doctor and Yaffa, he's, he's, she goes around all dressed up and she's knocking on his door, and he, he can't believe it's his lucky day. And you get that sense of odour from deep space. Now, you know what he slimes into his bed. <laughs> and and they start there at it. You know, to see when he slimes up and he gives her a kiss. It reminded me of that episode of Red Dwarf when, when Crichton fell in love with that chameleoid. I sort of got that from it, really. And it's just this situation it's, it's getting funnier and every time they're in lift there's this alien keep turning up with big head and 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 they're going on about having music in lift and and it and, and this happens a couple of times and when they finally get into lift it's uh they've got the supermarket music which is brilliant oh one of the playing this love song and it's just sort of brilliant you know this how this the timing of the alien and them to the middle of a domestic 
and they're in there together and the alien sort of stood in the middle of them both with big head and, 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 and you just you just can't stop laughing you know and, and, and then we go around the ship I mean I love the ship I mean the, the ship and, and and then it all starts falling apart the aliens are kicking off at each other with the two warring fleets and this thing from the planet has been found from 50, 30,000 years ago and this Mercer's lost the plot she's all jealous Doctor and Yaffet are at it security officer figures out something's going on she walks into the surgery because kids are looking for for the mum and she's engrossed in like this slime thing which I couldn't stop laughing you know and uh, you go from that and it comes to the conclusion where uh, where Rob Lowe's character the other uh, him, him who uh, I forgot his name the blue one I mean I mean I mean, I mean at the beginning when he caught Kelly in bed with him his head blew again and I couldn't stop laughing so I mean it's just all how this has been put together the writing it, it's just sheer joy to watch Oval is a sheer joy to watch I mean the background story were, it, were like very next generation they're there to solve a, uh, a peace thing broker a peace deal between two warring factions but it, you, that's irrelevant it's what's going on on the, the bigger story and the old episode set on the ship which is great and I couldn't stop laughing I just could not stop laughing through the entire thing Orville is a sheer joy to watch now a lot of people say what's your favourite uh, Orville or Discovery the two different programmes to me I know that Orville's took a load from everywhere but I agree with what Seth MacFarlane said he turned around and said after original series and TNG do, and and then, then Star Trek sort of got darker and went in other directions. There was a space in the middle for this. And I think Orville just, he's right, he, he found a space and he just fitted it in perfectly. I mean, this is not even Galaxy Quest now. Orville's its own thing. It's got its own idea. It's established itself in nine episodes to this. You know, and, and you just grown to love the characters. I mean, it's took me a while in Discovery to sort of get used to Burnham and, and Lorca, who, who you just, who had the presence. He was the one that sort of brought me more into Discovery. And I like Discovery. I know there's people have got issues with it, but I've been enjoying Discovery. But Orville, is, is, it's just since the first episode, how it started, you just feel that you know the characters, you feel connected to the crew. What it is, is, I mean, in Next Generation, when they've had peace process, it'll all, I mean, I love TNG, but but it were all one dimension. They, they dealt with the situation and moved on, and, 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 and there were issues on crew, but they were not, not like this. I mean, the sarcasm. This is like when you're in a situation with your friends, and, and something funny's happened, and somebody, or serious, somebody gets sarcastic, because you need that sarcasm to get you through that situation you know and I just found this all of it was just brilliant the the it, it just I mean look at Brotus and his relationship with his partner you know when are you going to come on I mean he's like Mr Wharf and he? he's like this warrior dude when, when he told them all to shut up in, in bar when he was just about to sing and, 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 and his partner is having a domestic with him you know and it's just so funny all of it, 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 I mean, you take elements from other programs and in, in this, but Orville's got this like line that goes through it where you just identify with so many crew and the sarcasm and the wit, and, 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 and there is dark overtones in there. In certain episodes of Orville, there's been incredibly dark overtones in some of the episodes. And, but the humour in it, I mean, last week's were really serious in parts, but tonight, tonight's episode was just a sheer joy. It really was. And I, I don't know if it's the one on next week, because it's the Christmas fall. I hope there is one more next week. I know, because the break up for Christmas. But I, I can't, you know, when this comes out on Blu-ray, I'm definitely buying this. And I can't stop watching it. You know, I think, honestly, 
I've got nothing but praise for this show. So I, it's going to be funny. And I thought there might be some kind of story arc. I mean, they resolved that tonight. I mean, I mean, he, he felt completely... I, I understand this feeling because I've been there, you know, where, where like the other one, the other person turns up in the old triangle from years ago and you do feel on edge about it. And you felt that with Mercer tonight. You felt his inadequacies with him. Because he's, you know, and, and how he feels at what happened with his wife. Do you know what I mean? And, and and you get where he's coming from, but this, this uh, I mean, she said to him, and she said, you know, were you on hate when we were, you, you know, and he, he said, well, you know, he didn't really give a straight answer, I might have been. I mean, it, and and then you got Mercer that's after him, and, 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 and the Yaffet, Claire Doctor thing, all of it's just brilliant. I mean, the cast in this, they work so well together, and they, it's just so well... Everybody's just got their own identity in this. I know I keep saying this, but I just say it, it's just I love Orville, I really do. So that's my review of uh, this episode, guys. Episode 9. Uh, please give this uh, video a like, give it a share. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this episode, guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, look after yourselves and. Uh, I'll see you shortly. I think it's Discovery next. Oh no, Red Dwarf, I think. Yeah, Red Dwarf. Alright guys, see you later.